What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. I've got an update on, uh, well, the county situation I've been dealing with and my, uh, my lovely neighbor. So stay tuned to that one. First, oh, it's time to clean up some waters here. Yeah, so we finally have some change here on the homestead with uh, the neighbor situation I've been dealing with. Which is, uh, I hope it sticks, but it's yet to be seen because it's too early to tell. But either way, it's good news. <clears throat> well, we could say that uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this county that's really shady. And uh, it took a, it took pitting them against each other to get anything done. And we'll get in that real quick here once I uh, feed these chickens. Excuse me, bud. Excuse me. Just watch all these chickens. When I start pouring this feed, they'll be coming through that door. Or not. Well, just look at you. Look at you just hanging out up there. Yeah, come on, pre-flight, take off, ready to go. Oh boy. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Excuse me. Yuck. That'll take a minute to fill up. Uh -oh. Stay in there. All right, let's talk. Hey, get the word out. There's fresh water. Yep. You'll tell everybody. Getting into the story. It's a little bit of a lengthy one. But, yes. I kind of kind of started pitting folks against each other. And it didn't take much for me to, to do that, actually. And what I mean is... So, the advice given to me was, you need to go and file a report with the county sheriff's department. Well, okay. Well, they also said, you have to collect all the evidence to, uh, to support your report as well. Fine. I'll do it myself. Well... Nobody else was doing it, so I went ahead and I set up a trail camera. And from that trail camera, on my property, my ad, I was able to catch an hour's worth of footage of this individual just running a business out in this residential area because I am rural, rural, um, what do you call it? I am rural residential. Well, you can't be running construction businesses and stuff, uh, even if we are rural residential because, well, one, it messes everybody else's quality of life when they have to hear dump trucks, skid steers, backup alarms, and forklifts. Yes, forklifts, people. They even had, they even had forklifts running over there. That's how bad this was. And, well, I did everything they asked me to do. And I submitted the police report, and I got a case number with that. And with that case number, I waited an acceptable amount of time, I thought. I, I want to say two, about two months. That is way more than anybody else would have waited. But, you know, this has been going on almost three years now. I asked for an update on that case report from the deputy I turned the report into. He tells, he tells me that that he uh he sent that off to the zoning department 
and it was up to them to take action on it and by then i was just shaking my head because those were the individuals that didn't want to take action on it in the first place so i emailed the zoning department again I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to feed these goats real quick or they won't let me talk. <laughs> you guys are doing good on water still. Oh, we good. We broke. One of your feeding things. They're wearing stuff out around here. Oh man, so yeah. So I emailed the zoning department and they told me, well, first of all, it took forever for them to get back to me. After my second email to the uh, zoning department uh, demanding a status on the situation, they finally got back to me and they said, you didn't send me any video. I turned in a flash drive as evidence and uh, if you filed a report, you need to take it up with the sheriff. They'll be the ones to um, take care of the situation. Uh, so basically, he's telling me he doesn't know anything about it. And he didn't receive any video evidence to enforce this law. Uh, that's been causing me so much issues around here. Um, you guys may wonder, like, hey, you know, you guys, you know, maybe you guys don't notice because I do a pretty good job at hiding it. But I... Uh, I do a lot of creative edit editing and there might be times in the day if you pay attention whether or not you are paying attention that close sun might be in a different spot that's because i had to wait for yahoo to be done making a bunch of noises over there so i could start filming again so going on i uh contacted the sheriff's department again but this time i was uh talking to a captain and i basically told him i was like hey they they have no idea what i'm talking about and he uh he personally called me up which i don't like the phone calls because they can't be uh uh set as a recording like um like an email can but i asked him to email me and he also emailed me as well well that conversation basically was that they're going to issue a citation because the county attorney and the zoning department are refusing to take any action on this situation well he also sent me an email because i forwarded him the email that i had basically uh, saying that they're saying you're not doing your job and uh, well he said I'll be damned if they're not gonna do theirs I'll be sure to do mine he went and issued citation well that was about a week ago and it's been fairly quiet over there as for the county uh, I was gonna have to go to court with a lawyer and actually go to a judge and present all this evidence of them not doing their job and he would have I'm gonna have to issue a order basically telling them to do their job now we're getting to the point where that would have cost me some money and I really didn't want to go that route so I really hope that this sticks now <laughs> here's the update here's an update on the county situation because if you guys knew I, I'm, I was gonna run for county supervisor and I'm not saying was as I'm not going to anymore but for those who know they uh, redrew the district lines and put me right outside of the district two, which was coming up for re-election um, this year. So, yeah, uh, that really that really stunk, and there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. I'm outside the district. I'm in a new district now. I still intend on running for county supervisor for my district, but it's not going to be until next year will that be able. Um, I'll be able to do that. Now what that did is, well now we gotta go vote in a totally different town when I have a voting poll place right across the street. 
Oh, the joys. Well, everybody was wondering if I had something to do with that. <laughs> now, if I could say I did, uh, it's a little flattering, but honestly, I don't, woo, honestly, I don't think I did. I think it's just the way things worked out. But I still intend on running for office. It's just not going to be for a little bit. You guys enjoying this? You guys getting your grub on? Huh? Get your hay? You guys are enjoying yourself, huh? Huh? So yeah, they uh, they issued a citation to the guy, and he uh, he stopped what he was doing. Now the that captain he did tell me he said, well they could take this to court. Are you ready to go to court? I'm like yeah, I guess I'll go to court. Ain't no big deal to me. I'm not the one breaking the law. And another thing I wanted to address because I know it's going to come up, especially when I go out for an election, is people are going to probably say that. You know, why would you uh, go after a guy who's just trying to make a living and why um, why are you hating on small business and things of that nature? Well, one, I don't. I mean, I support uh, small business. And if he if his business had no effect on me whatsoever on my property, I could care less whether that law existed and he was breaking it. If it wasn't affecting me, I don't care. But it was it was affecting me. And the fact of the matter is he didn't care how that affected anybody else. So why should I care about basically uh, what, where, he, where his business lands up? Because mind you, if you're not updated on the story, I'll post the link up top. But this gentleman lives in a gated community. He bought this property that he doesn't even live on. And he's running a business out of it and he's renting the house out. So not only is he uh, using it as a business purpose, but he's also making a passive income on the rental property. So I don't have any sympathy for this guy. I sunk all the money I had in this property right here, in this house, in this land, and establishing my homestead. And it was being ruined by this guy. And he didn't care. He didn't care one bit. And the county didn't care one bit either. Because you know what? Confrontation and conflicts well, they don't win elections and they don't get votes. And, you know, they didn't have the technical fortitude to uh, enforce their own laws on the zoning department. That's sad. And, you know, it's every last bit of me to present all this um, evidence of like neglect of taking care of the county people to the board of supervisors and ask and demand actually the resignation of the county zoning um, manager or the person in charge of that but I know it wouldn't get me anywhere all it'd do is just create conflict they wouldn't even mention it into the to the paper which they record everything but you know we have a uh, county sheriff's report yeah you know they don't mention uh, that they issue a citation to somebody because it's a small town everything gets recorded so I might do that and well i think they believe that i'm uh, not going to be a problem anymore because of this <laughs> they're sadly mistaken and saying that they're sadly mistaken because i'm not done this is not fair the stuff i had to go through and i hopefully it's the last time anybody has to go through it because i intend on getting in that office and i intend on holding people accountable for these things and it's not going to make me any friends that's for dang sure. But I'll, I'll be damned if I'm going to stand by and let this happen to other people in this county. A lot of folks would be like, you just, you're just running for office for private, private interest. Well, you know what? I didn't ask to run for office. This situation put me in, the, in a place where I felt that I needed to run for office to make a change. I will get this taken care of. If I don't, if it continues, well, then we'll just go to court over it. But I intend to make sure these folks of this county are going to be taken care of and uh, the people not taking care of them well either they get out or they start doing their job oh does that feel good a scratcher oh yeah get those itchies itchy 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 so we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys updated but that is the current update right now uh, so citations have been issued he's been warned they said they sent a letter to him but I doubt they did. I doubt they did. And hopefully we can get back to normal here. And we can start building this homestead back up. 
and maybe we can start uh, improving uh, the property lines and everything and not have to worry about looking at dump trucks and businesses running next door to us. But we're, we're gonna get there. We'll see what happens. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I'll keep you up to date on anything else that changes. So the ones who were asking, there you go. There's your answer. See you later.